Supposed to be around the corner. How's everyone doing? Good. I know you guys just went through this, but how does it feel being on the other side? I hope they're not salty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they you think they're gonna be salty? Yes. 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 Are they gonna be salty? No. They're men. Style. I think moon shoes should go first. Really? Moon shoes? Moon shoes? I mean, it's just the tattoos and the freckles. Like, I'm a big tattoo guy, so. Okay, tattoos. that's fair enough. Who's your, your first? Shoes? I would say green. Yeah, shoes yeah, first. So. She's more of my type physically, I would say. Mm. What are you gonna be looking okay. for physically in the women? Uh, personally, for me, uh, height's a big thing, so I'd probably look for someone that's tall. Sort of athletic looking. Usually, same race as me, black or mixed. Someone with good style, a good face. I'm a big face guy, like I don't really care what your body looks like. You got a pretty smile, cute nose, good eyes. That would be good for me. Someone who's not I don't know, it's kind of weird if you're tall and you like someone who's kind of short, it's kind of weird. I do tend to prefer like a girl next door kind of vibe. I don't say I have a type, but a lot of people say I have a type. What is it? Uh, you can say curly hair, um, big boobs. Well, yeah, what about you? Who's your one? Um, I think Jean Dress would be my number one. Um, I like the girl next door vibe. Jean Dress is my one too. <laughs> All right. She's tall, she has a lot. Of, I, I don't know, I just, that's what I like. Yeah. I think we should put her one and we put Jean Dress too. All right. Go, go, go. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Perfect. I said it to a thing, you flip flop. She should move up. Why do you think? I think she just, she has like, she has like a really nice body, it looks like. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, everyone's yeah. beautiful, it's kind of. Really? Yeah. Where do you think the men will place you? Mm. Um, honestly, I think I will be somewhere around a little bit above mid because <laughs> because this is how I would rank myself. I think she's wearing the oh, only cool so skirt. So she thinks she's legs. She's all true, too. That is true, that is true. And it's That's more true. cohesive from dark to top. It, it matches a little better. Uh huh. Then the rest of these outfits. Go. There's some interesting choices being So made. we have to move Miss Blonde to Yeah, Miss Blonde gotta move up. I think. Yeah, go. Uh, one. One more. One more. There we go. And, and then. Bubble, Miss Bubblegum. I feel like Bubbles has to go up. Yeah, yeah Bubbles. Miss Bubblegum has to yeah, go up. Yeah, Bubbles has to go up. And then so. And then Bubblegum. Oh, and then Bubblegum. Yeah. That's the type of face where she knows she looks good. There we go. I'm not mad at this. Where do you think you might wind up in line? Probably. On the lower half. Not because I don't think I'm beautiful, I just think that there is a specific standard of beauty right now, and I don't necessarily fit all of the, I don't check off all of the boxes mm. for Where would most you rank races. Them? Ooh, this has to I would put them all on number one because all women are beautiful. Go down a little bit. I think it moves down to three. Yeah. Three? All right, we, we could do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with this lineup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What was going through your mind when you had your headphones on and you were getting judged? Um, I honestly was in another planet. I was just like vibing by myself. I was not staring at them and I was kind of just not really caring because I really don't care what they think. <laughs> you all right? Get the fuck out of here. Sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the episode. Do you guys do you guys drive? Yeah. yeah. Do you drive? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Cool. What is your one red flag and one beige flag? It's I don't think it's a red flag, but guys usually do. I do musical theater. What? No, that's sick. That's, that's sick. sick. Oh, that's sick. Okay. What? I've literally never had that reaction <laughs> so positively. What's a beige flag? Beige like, is, is like that? kind of you're neutral. Oh, some people like this, some people don't like this. What would your exes say? My exes would say maybe I'm a bit like I'm like a little bit bossy sometimes for like traveling or stuff like that. Like I'll be the one planning stuff. Okay, hi, um, I'm Victoria and my red flag. Okay, um, I think it's my expectation. I expect a lot from everyone. Um, I don't know if I can meet my own standards sometimes. So maybe um, it's really hard to impress me. Um, a beige flag is I don't she like to party. She sounds so boring. She's that, that I have never heard 
a bitch sound more boring than her right now on my, on my lap. I don't oh like to party. Um, I don't like people. I like to stay home. I like to read books and boring. I like to drink tea. Boring. I love tea. Boring. I mean, I drank tea this morning. I read a book this morning, so I did. She is boring. I'm Jordan. I think a red flag for Send me. Some people are very bothered because I say bagel. No uh, way. Are you Canadian? Yes, I am. Oh my God. And I say you bag. Up. Like school bag. Oh God. Where in Canada are you from? Toronto. Um, I was born in China. Um, beige like, horny. people either like or really do That nigga's horny and she ain't even acknowledging him. It's like that I have tattoos. Makes sense. That, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. That's really easy. Mm, red flag, I would say that um, I have a hard time to communicate about feelings sometimes. So that's definitely a red flag. Beige flag, I was going to say the same thing that I'm not really a party person. Um, I might look like it, but I'm, I like to stay at home. I guess my red flag would be, I think I have a strong personality and I'm like not afraid to say mm -hmm. how I feel. Maybe that's a beige, is that a black beige? Black That can be a beige. Okay. Okay. Strong black woman. Yeah. That's what we like, huh? Red flag is, I like to go out. I like to go outside. A beige flag. Kinds of, kinds of, that okay, kind of falls so in the beige flag category. A red flag. I talk a lot. I like to talk. I talk a lot. That's Still in the beige category. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you usually have a type? Funny. Um, likes animals because I like I have two dogs. As long as they're confident, if they're all shy and stuff, I'm gonna be like, oh. People who are smart, kind, funny. All right, if I can't crack a joke with you, if I you getting offended, how are we gonna have fun? Uh, they have to be funny, or at least like unfunny enough to like think I'm funny. Cause I, you know, if if I can whittle them down and be like, oh god, he's so funny. It's actually I've just tricked you into thinking I'm funny. That don't I fucking think that that would be good. Uh, How much money is in your guys' savings account uh -huh. right now? Ayo, <laughs> what the <laughs> No comment. No comment. I like to shop. I do. So, if that tells you anything. A little bit more than um, half a million. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't really want to share. I love it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I knew she was some sort of secret evil Russian princess. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would our attractiveness be defined by money? No, 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 no. no, no. It's just I'm like just a kind of gotcha question, like, do you save for the future? Yeah, it's oh, like, just like a yeah, okay. mental like state. How we're just wondering. No, yeah. Mercedes, can you like tell us what you do to get like such a big bank? Uh, I work in social media. Oh, like an influencer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's no, cool. she does porn. Yeah, thank you. No, she she does porn. My nigga, when have you ever heard a porn star say they're a porn star? When, when have you ever? Heard a porn star say, yeah, I play with my pussy on camera and I've made millions. No, they don't say that shit. They tell you, I'm a social media influencer. I'm a content creator. Yeah, I'm, I'm a content creator. <laughs> Pardon me. What Bro, food do you hate? You suck dick. Like, what, oh. do, you, what do you like? God, I can't pickles. eat that. Pickles. Hey, pickles. pickles. You give seafood. 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 It's all seafood. seafood. Okay. Even like sushi. Yeah, I know. I thought they're going to ask more like deeper questions just to get to know me as a person. <laughs> it was just like dry like <laughs> do you feel like you guys asked enough questions to oh, get to know the woman god no none at all i think our questions are terrible yeah we didn't miss really obvious ones like awesome oh questions. where are you guys from how old are you what do you do for work don't know why those didn't pop in our heads but they didn't at the time but yeah what's the craziest thing you've done to an ex like, what's the craziest thing answer. you've done to an ex? I need to hear like, your answer. Answer her face, Parker, face. so fast. Oh. This was in high school, though. But he was talking to another girl and like, oh, this sounds so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> high school. There was a hat that I had of his, and I think his grandmother like gifted it. She passed away. And when he did whatever he did, I burnt the hat. <laughs> Because I was just like, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Beige. That's not bad. Beige. That's, that's fucked up, beige. man. That is red. Beige. Um, I made a fake social media account and I pretended to be a girl just to like try to pick him up and he failed the test and then I cut his tires. Oh, <laughs> did you cut three? All of them. Damn. Damn. Cut three. Okay. <laughs> That's fire. I'm on good terms with both exes that I have, so I guess. Women are evil. Nothing. No contact. She's on good terms with both of them. She's still sucking their dicks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's that easy. She's still sucking that dick. The dick was block and report. Well, why report? Well, um, <laughs> was he, was he wasn't enough. Just I don't want to see you. I don't want to see friends that you have. I don't want to see any remnant of you. Um, I'm also. She's so boring. 
She's so fucking boring. No, I'm not gonna lie, bro. She's so fucking boring. Oh my god. I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna see anything. My nigga, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to see your boring Some ass either. Like, what's going both on? my exes. Yeah, I don't have any bad blood towards them and vice versa. And, I'm getting report. Yeah. You guys That's got any questions, questions down there? That's I have zero. Quiet. I have none? Zero. I have no questions. That's come on, man. I have, I have, I have generally, This is like my one flaw. I, when it comes to these things, I don't have questions to ask. Like, I don't play a truth or dare for that specific reason because I can't think of a truth or a dare. Okay. Yeah. What do you think is the strangest thing that turns you on? Oh, valid. Ooh. I think when when men are just backing up with the car and they kind of put the head over them. That's nice. like, yeah. That's like nice. I don't know why it's That's... hot. What the fuck is wrong with the woman brain? What the fuck is wrong with the woman brain? What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Really kind men, like it's just like just people who are just kind for no reason. Like there was. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, she said that she has a strong personality, which means she be she be violating niggas and testing them. Now she wants a kind man. How the fuck does that make sense? Why do you want a kind man if you're gonna be testing a nigga every two seconds, calling him names, and trying to get on his nerves? But you want him. But you, <laughs> guess what? I'm Ian. Hint. I'm Indian. There's no wow. reason for you to do this thing for this Daddy. person. Because I know like some people are like bad boys or like the. Yeah. No, I like people who are very, very sweet. I like socially aware. I like it when you move out of the grocery um, aisle and you just know when people are around you and you're just, you're aware. I like. She's so boring. Even her answers are boring. I'm not even violating no more. That's what, like, what being socially aware of your surroundings. Very, very sweet. I like socially aware. I like it when you move out of the grocery um, aisle and you just know when people are around you. So she gets turned on when you move out of the way for someone else. <laughs> what the fuck? And Look you at just, you're girl. aware. I like gamer boys. Oh. Like what's your favorite game? <laughs> you talking about the black nigga? <laughs> Zelda's my okay. favorite game. I don't know what that looks like about to touch the I like when I make someone laugh really, really hard. Like I just, I like if them. you laugh really hard at something, I said, yeah. I don't know. Valid, valid. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I think my boobs. <laughs> I really like my boobs. I was gonna say it could be physical or oh. personality wise, or both, but okay. it could be any of that. But boobs yeah. with a sense of humor. I think that's a great combination. Whoa. Nice. I think I'm like really loyal to my friends, so like I feel like I'm like a writer. I love my answer. Yeah. Like I you. like my boobs. <laughs> I really like my mole. It's right in the middle, in between my eyebrows. I know everyone's looking at it, and I love it. It's right in the middle, and it's very lucky. That's all. Um, I really like my eyes. Okay. I like my face, and I think I'm funny. So, well, everybody thinks funny. Put her there because I feel like we have a lot of like things in common. Um, I just thought she was really attractive. I'm not gonna lie. She seemed really fun to like be around and stuff. She kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like she look. Would, like, you see the way me. she smiled because she knows it's her. Oh my god. Yep. And then uh, it was just didn't have really much in common. Uh, yep, I feel like if we boring. were to hang out, we would just kind of sit there in silence. Uh, I really like this person's hair. She's a mom again. She's boring as fuck. I'm a fan of also hair color, although not so much in the footwear department, but you know. Um, and then we would have opposite things be funny to each other, so that would be like fun to be around, of, like trying to get someone who doesn't think you're funny to laugh. She was pretty, but kind of not my type, and um, not really my type at all. Number one, I think. I'm the most sort of physically attracted to, and also she was kind of quirky, and I kind of. This nigga's a loser. This brother's a loser. She's kind of quirky. The man nigga, she said six words per sentence. What the fuck? Like that quirkiness. Number two, I think she just has a lot of green flags and seemed like a wonderful person. Number four, I thought was beautiful, but. You know, perhaps I don't know if we would vibe. And then number five, we would be like, you know, very good friends, but just, I don't think there was like a lot of physical attraction. So my first selection, like, I don't know, her, her sense of energy. Like, 
This the first time I heard this nigga speak. Fucking Ice Cube son. This the first time I heard Ice Cube son even say a fucking word. This so my first selection, like, I don't know, her her sense of energy, black like, lines of mind, just to hire for greater knowledge. Uh number three for me too. It's Why just the swag, so style, shoe gang, what on the point. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, because uh, physically, and I think now getting to know them, this would definitely be someone I would go for in public. Four and five. Oh, five hours late. Same. <laughs> like, I'd probably just be friends with these people. Like, nothing crazy or serious. Just like, they seem like we would get along in some sort of way, but like, they wouldn't be like someone I'd go for. Oh, hi. Just hopping in to see if you're liking this episode of Breaking. If you are, like and subscribe for more. Listen here. Listen here, Bridget. <laughs> Listen here, Bridget. If you ever interrupt my episode of Jubilee again, very bad things will happen to those you love. I'm talking about family members, friends, animals, family members, members of your family people in your family tree, all of that. If you ever, I'm, I'm being so serious, Bridget. If you ever do some shit like that again, I will come for you. You understand? Yeah? Yeah, you fucking monk. This episode of Jesus Breaking. Christ, if you bro. are, like and subscribe for more. Fuck. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. What time is it, fam? Yo, fam. Pull up, fam. Yo, fam. Pull up, fam. Yo fam, pull up, pull up right now, fam. Yo, broski, pull up, fam. I'm waiting for you, store. Yo, fam, I'm waiting for you, fam. Pull up, fam. Yo, fam, I got pizza, fam. Pull up, fam. Oh, there's bacon on it. Yo, fam, I'm about to order some more pizza with no bacon. Pull up, fam. Yo, cap. Yo, cap. Yo, your true cap. Not even cap, your true cap. Yo, fam, pull up, fam. Where is this nigga, man? I miss this nigga, bro. I spoke to him in a minute. Your true captain, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, fam. Yo, my crody, my crowlingus, fam. Where are you, fam? Pull up, fam. Pull up, fam. I'm waiting for you, Stoski. My Bruce, my broski, my my guy, fam. Yo, fam, my family member Ding Dong Broski, come on, fam. I think I'm gonna stay right here, honestly. I feel like I'll ship down. Check DMs. Me too. Yo, I'm so checking, fam. What do you think would make you ship down? I'm checking, fam. I'm here, fam. Weren't. But I don't think there were enough to get to know us separate yeah. from like, what? our physical attributes. Yeah. Actually, let's be positive. We're gonna we're gonna move yeah, up. We're, gonna we're only up. moving up. This oh, is very sniper. depressing. Is, we're is, is, we a, yeah. up. is he making a song? So in fifth, we have Mercedes. Broski, yo, fam. Bro this way? Whoa. What? She's lost? What? The boobs were not working that much. Uh, <laughs> with 11 points. In fourth, Victoria. The boring bitch. Nah, the boring bitch should have been lost, though. That's the thing. 13 points. Third, we have Zanab with Oh, he's missing around. Points. Yo, how this guy gonna tell me to okay. check DMs and he doesn't DM me? Does In that even second, make sense? Jordan, 17 oh points. What? <laughs> And in first, Charlie with 19 points. Slay. That's crazy. Do you guys have anything to say for yourself? I think we all have very different yeah, types, is, both yes. physically and vibe-wise. So it's, it's just, just, that makes sense. Way different than what I thought was good. Do you girls have any thoughts about the final order of this line? I mean, I'm kind of shocked. I did not think they were vibing with me at all. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know how this happened. What do you think maybe put you at the top? I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyone else? I think I'm just goofy. I didn't videos. get gifted. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry. Jeez. That's true. Mm. Yo, who wants to okay. gift this up? Yeah, I mean, you okay. know what? We're all different. I can't be for everyone, and that's, that's okay. So based on physical appearance, they put her there. So she kind of, she was chilling. She went down by two. Yeah, because she was scary. They could just tell she was boring physically and whatever. And then her and her, they completely switched, basically. They was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit.
Okay, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> For the it's men's final order. I was shocked. Or you Look, all you niggas typing, but you weren't typing before. I wow. Like, although we all belong in number one, I feel like they don't really have taste. I'm not putting any girls, girls down, but I, I definitely think it reflected um, how much they could handle. Um, no way she's talking though, right? No, did you might not hear what she said? For the men's final order. I was shocked. What were you shocked by? I was like, although we all belong in number one, I feel like they don't really have taste. They don't have taste because she's at the bottom. What? She's boring as fuck. What? Order. Number one, I feel like they don't really have taste. I can't lie. She needs to get violated for this. I'm not putting any girls, girls down, but I, I definitely think it reflected um, how much they could handle um, a really bad bitch. I think men tend to think on a very physical level or think about women in relation to how it works for them. Like, so she said, Yo, think she one of those that think they deserve more than they get boring on. That's what I'm saying. She just said, yeah, that men think on a physical level. But if that was true, wouldn't they have kept you at number one? If they only thought on a physical level, they wouldn't have given a fuck about what you had to say, right? If they only think in a, on, on, a, on, on a physical level, they only just see like you. They wouldn't have moved you down. They moved you down because they weren't fucking with it. Nigga like me, I was low-key fucking with it. I was fucking with it. But that's just them. What's a crazy kink? What's the craziest thing you've done to your ex? Like, just for them to mentally prepare for what they're going to get into without figuring out what you are as a person or who you are. It's just like, what's the worst thing you're going to do to me if I like, date you or, like, yeah. I think men get insecure when I talk about my finances and they see that I'm a little bit further than they are. So I'm not taking any offense here. I'm not upset about it. I was kind of expecting that. That's what happened to me, like, personally, as a personal experience. Yeah, I can't lie. My third tier, shut up. The fuck is this? 